being original. Hello everyone, my name is Lin Yang and in today's presentation we'll be talking about being original. Let's start! So in today's type of content we have five main parts. There are what are our feelings, how do we express himself, what does it mean to be original, how can something be original, and we have the difference between copying and being inspired. So you might be wondering what are our feelings. Feelings refer to our physical, emotional experiences. So like comfort, fear, and happiness describe what we experience. So feelings also allow us to experience endless array of emotions that life gives us, such as being happy or sad. So next we have our next big point is the way we can express ourselves. So there are a lot of ways, such as drawing. When we see an artwork, so the viewer could like image the moral of the, the artwork. When we journal or write a story, we could also express our feelings and also our point of views. And also when we compose songs, as you know, in songs there are kind of a moral or the lessons that the songs giving to us. And there are a lot more ways. And now what does this mean to be original? The definition of original, it means that it's not a copy or it's not imitation. It means that it's the first one, it's new, and yeah, that is what the original really means. So here we have half and something to be original. So like, here we have some songs such as The Hallelujah by Leonardo Cohen. We have Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney. The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. And we have The Eiffel Tower. So what do all of these have in common? They're original. So like... These are all the original artworks, landmarks, books, or either songs. So what are the difference between copying and being inspired? Let's talk about copying first. So in the window of the world in Shenzhen, they copy all the famous landmarks all over the world, such as the Eiffel Tower, the Pisa, and a lot of other things. Here we have, they copy everything and copy everything except for the size and places. And the difference between copying and being inspired is this. So, you can recognize this, right? Yes, it's a story night by Vincent van Gogh, and it's an original piece of art. And here we have the Great Wave of Kanagawa. Kan Kanagawa. And you can see some similarities in the patterns, such as the sky and the waves. And so, and so the, art, the, um, the artist Vincent van Gogh takes some inspiration, a little inspiration from the Great Wave of Kanagawa. And so, it's also just an inspiration, but it's, all, but it's already an original, right? made by Vincent van Gogh in his asylum in France. So, yeah, just to make clear, being inspired doesn't mean a copy. It just means, it also means the original piece. And from all of this, I would like to thank you for listening and have a great day. Goodbye.